Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Claiming Williams Day. I'm Carmen Whalen, Professor of Latin and Latino Studies and History, and currently serving as the Associate Dean for Institutional Diversity. Today is the day when we suspend our classes, our athletic activities, and our business as usual to come together as students, staff, and faculty to do the work of building inclusive community. Meaningful inclusive community does not just happen. When student activists organized calling for Claiming Williams Day, they asked us, all of us, to be proactive in building a community embracing of our diversity and respectful to all. They asked us not just to respond to hateful incidents, but to try to address the underlying issues and indeed to try to prevent these incidents from happening. This is work that we continue to take seriously. As Associate Dean, I have had the joy of working with students, staff, and faculty who make up the Claiming Williams Steering Committee. Together, we solicit and review proposals for events. This is still a very grassroots day. Uh, we come up with a theme, we make suggestions for developing those events, and we co coordinate the day's many discussions. We are joined by Carrie Green and Erica Maker, whose vision and expertise somehow make 30 events in one day happen, apparently seamlessly. And that is just the beginning. Facilities, dining services, the copy center, communications, WICMA, student life, security, everyone here at the 62 Center, OIT, to name just a few. And then there are all the departments, programs, and administrative offices that co-sponsored events this year. It turns out that it takes a community to dedicate a day to building community. My sincere thanks go to all of you for this work and to all of you who are here this morning participating. And hopefully those of you who are Williams students, staff, and faculty will participate at other events throughout the day as we challenge ourselves to dig deeper in order to do this ongoing work. Last but certainly not least, I have the privilege of thanking and introducing our president, Adam Falk, who has stood with and supported Claiming William since his arrival here. Please join me in welcoming President Adam Falk. So welcome to Claiming Williams. So today is an important moment in the annual cycle of our year together. It's a day for reflecting on the quality of our community and on the ways that each of us takes ownership of it. Now make no mistake, we can love Williams and still feel uncertain of our place here, struggling with our sense of whether we belong, whether we have yet claimed Williams for ourselves. I make this point every year, and I'm going to make it again. We are all, each in our own way, of the majority and of the minority, both outsiders and insiders. I may be in the African-American minority and the Christian majority. I may be lesbian and white. I may be Muslim and a man. I may be Latina and straight. Our goal must be to understand the implications, the privileges and the challenges of both the majority and minority aspects of our own identities and of the identities of our friends and colleagues. We here at Williams constitute a particular sort of community, a residential liberal arts college. The opportunity that we are presented with is to integrate all aspects of our educational experience, the intellectual, the social, the physical, and to take advantage of our mutual proximity to learn as much from each other as we do from faculty and books. This, of course, is why it is so critical that we build and nurture a truly diverse community, one that not only looks diverse on the surface, but one in which each of us is fully able to be and to express who it is that we are, even, or maybe especially, when we're not always so sure ourselves of who that is. This opportunity is the heart, in fact, of what it means to study the liberal arts. To quote Scott McLemie, it is to embrace the possibility of transcending the particular view of the world you happen to have acquired through the accident of being born in a particular kind of body in a given society at a certain time. 
We do that both through our academic work and through our lives together, through a diverse faculty and an inclusive curriculum, through a student body drawn from every corner of our society and the world. If we get nothing else from our Williams education but this, it will be time well spent here for all of us. To be a residential college at our small size is to have the maximal opportunity to be intentional about the nature of our community, to go beyond simply bringing people together and letting the chips fall where they may. To come to Williams is to commit oneself wholly to this place. It is to commit oneself wholly to the care of our fellow humans here, students, faculty, and staff, town residents, and alumni. The work we do in claiming Williams, the conversations we have, and above all, the listening that we engage in, is but one important part of this essential project. By itself, claiming Williams won't make us a perfect community. It isn't meant to. But it's an amazing opportunity every year to walk a bit farther down that road together. So the theme for this year's Claiming Williams Day is daring to dig deeper. And that's what I hope that each of you will do today. Dig deeper into the experiences of your fellow human beings. Dig deeper into your own reservoirs of empathy. Every one of us can and should claim Williams as our own. This is our Williams and our responsibility for what we are, our responsibility for our community. It's our conversation today. We are the ones, in fact, the only ones who can make this the diverse, inclusive, interesting, multifaceted community that we all want it to be.